We see Julie, who has made significant progress in her work since joining Zenoba. She has learned various spells and has grown alongside Zenoba. Even her language skills have improved to some extent. Rodeus approaches a statue that he had given to Zenoba, which was very valuable to him. He takes it from him and Zenoba, while sweating and stressed, brings out a box and opens it. They confront the broken pieces of the statue. Rodeus becomes angry and accuses Zenoba of disrespecting his statue, as it held great significance to him. Zenoba explains that he had dueled with Linnea and Persna, and they broke the statue. So Rodeus decides to teach these two a lesson. One day, in front of the girls, he confronts them and they get into an argument. Eventually, Rodeus defeats them and takes them to his room, imprisoning them. After they regain consciousness, Rodeus asks them to fix the statue for him, but they are unable to do so. He explains the whole situation to Fitz, and Fitz accompanies him to the room where the girls are imprisoned. They intend to teach them a lesson, and since they haven't eaten or drunk anything since being imprisoned, they have become somewhat weak. They request Rodeus to free their hands and give them something to eat. Fitz draws a special painting on their faces and tells them that it is for a specific tribe. If they don't listen to Rodeus's words, she will make it permanent by chanting a spell. They agree to comply and leave the room. Fitz feels a strange connection to Rodeus, and when they are alone, Fitz asks him if he wants to see their true face. Rodeus says yes. However, Fitz quickly regrets their offer and remembers that nobody should see their true face, as it is a directive from Prince Ariel. They bid farewell to Rodius and leave. 